Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca, if we have never met before, and if we have met before, welcome back. This is my YouTube channel where I talk about all the houseplant things, and today I'm going to be showing you my Peperomia collection. Peperomia is one of those genuses that I have very small interest in. When I say that, I just mean that I only have a few Peperomias that I actually really enjoy. A lot of the Peperomias out there don't really interest me for some reason. I'm sorry. But there are a few that I'm like die hard fans of, so I wanted to talk about my Peperomias today and show you what I have. I first wanted to start out by just sharing how I care for my Peperomias just very, very quickly because I know that there are a lot of Peperomia care videos out there. I will link some down below from some friends of mine. What I have learned about Peperomias, we're gonna do this like crash course style light water soil and then we're going to get into my collection so as far as light goes peperomias in my experience at least with the ones that i have don't require a ton of light and they actually don't like too much light anyway which is a relief because that makes them a little bit more accessible for different kinds of houses depending on your windows and where you live so i actually have this peperomia you can see here this is my first peperomia and i will be showing you more of it in just a second but this plant has really been my experiment. I have learned so much from this plant and you will see later on that it kind of looks pretty beat up. When they get too much light, the leaves get sunburned very, very easily. They are very, very sensitive in the foliage and they also will get bleached out if they get too much light, which isn't very beautiful because watermelon peperomia specifically is beautiful because of the big contrast in the leaves and when it gets a little bit more bleached out like this leaf for example it isn't as beautiful as it could be i have it about two feet from an east facing window it doesn't get direct rays of light on it anymore for peperomias that take on more succulent qualities meaning that the stems are kind of thick and that the leaves themselves are pretty thick the way that i know if i need to water them or not is if the leaves are soft so if i take a leaf and i try to bend it if it feels like the leaf is going to snap, then it doesn't need water. However, if I bend it and it feels like I could freely bend it, like let's say in half, then I know that it probably does need water. I have realized that plants will tell you when they're thirsty a lot of the time, and I usually don't water my plants until they tell me that they're thirsty. They can show that to you with like leaf curl or just general drooping. You just have to look at each plant individually and kind of get to know them and how they work. And I'm actually learning that some plants don't give you any sign that they're thirsty and they just try to die on you. And as far as soil, I have all of them potted into just a chunky bark perlite soil mixture and it works out really, really well. It's just my general potting mixture, which I will link up in the cards. And that is what I use for about majority of my plants. Now that we have covered that, I wanted to show you my collection from my very first peperomia all the way to my most recent peperomia. Okay, so this would be my first peperomia. It is a watermelon peperomia. This plant is obviously known for its very striking leaves and I love it so much. It is seriously so beautiful. This plant is actually three big stalks in one pot. I got this from Folia Collective in Los Angeles around a year ago. I got it last March. So I am really excited to see that it is still with me. It was my very first watermelon peperomia and I really didn't know a ton about how to care for them. I just kind of listened to the plant and I also waited a really long time to repot this plant because I just, I was wanting to be mindful about the pot that I put it in and I put it in this cylinder pot and I'm really glad that I waited because it's very cute. Um, anyway, it is actually putting out a bloom. If you can see, let's see if we can get some autofocus action. You can see it right there on my finger. It just looks like a tiny rat tail. And as you can probably see, there are a lot of leaves with damage and scarring and they are just very, very, very sensitive. And I find that to be rather interesting because the leaves do look so strong and they feel so strong, but they are just so susceptible to sunburn. And this plant has just really been through some stuff, but I'm very glad because I've been able to propagate a lot of pieces off of it, which I will be showing you in just a minute. Alrighty, so the next peperomia in my collection is a tiny baby peperomia prostrata or a string of turtles. And this is a plant that I ordered online from Logies. I do recommend Logies, definitely a really great plant seller. 
However, when I got it, I was a little bit surprised by the size of the plant. For some reason, I was expecting it to be larger. Even though online it literally said it would be in a two and a half inch pot, for some reason, I was just expecting more. <laughs> so that is honestly like one of the biggest downsides of ordering plants online is like if I bought this in person, I would have known and expected it to look just like this. But when you buy online, you just don't know exactly what you're going to get. So anyway, with all that being said, I am still very happy with the plant. It is actually putting out a bloom right here. You can see just a tiny, tiny rat tail. And it has actually grown a lot of this branch right here. Um, are these really branches at this point? <laughs> Stem? I don't know. I think that the leaves will stay tiny for the most part, but I am excited to see where this plant will be like a year from now because it was a recently acquired plant. Okay, so the next plant that I want to show you today is a tiny watermelon peperomia. And this is actually the first baby that I took off of this plant right here. I was actually just trimming off old and dead leaves. I did not know whether or not a damaged leaf would actually produce babies. And I'm here to tell you that that is true. And I have a few other examples of that from my many times propagating watermelon peperomia. But this is the first success that I ever had. I will show you up close. So you can see here that the leaves are pretty baby, but it's so cute. This is actually two stalks. So this was two leaves and then I propagated them and now I have this. So I wasn't sure if the second leaf would produce anything, but it ended up producing something and it is just a little bit behind the other plant. But in any case, it has produced something and this is honestly one of my favorite plants in my collection because I love taking a plant from a baby and raising it to be quite large because I know that eventually this plant will be this big and that's really, really exciting. And it really hasn't been that long since I started propagating this plant and it just shot up babies and it's growing and now there are so many new leaves coming in. You can see all of the tiny little green dots you can see new leaves. A lot of the time when I get a brand new plant that is very unfamiliar to me, I will propagate off of it and see how it grows because it's really important for understanding how to care for the plant if you care for a very small version of that plant. Okay, so the next peperomia in my collection is a variegated watermelon peperomia. And actually it's very interesting because a lot of people don't know that the watermelon peperomia has a variegated form. And it is not something that is a consistent variegation. I'm pretty sure that it's just a mutation that pops up sometimes. So if you know any more information about that, you can comment down below. But I was talking with someone who works in a nursery in the Netherlands, I think, and a couple of their watermelon peperomias came up variegated. It's a very, very subtle variegation. This is the biggest leaf that it has. Then you can see just a little bit more of what it has to offer as far as variegation goes. It is a speckle effect, so it's not like one half of the leaf is like an elbow. And I think that it's really, really beautiful and striking. And I actually got this in a trade, which was really, really exciting with one of my friends on Instagram. All right, so the next peperomia in my collection. Oh, Leo, hello. <laughs> he has to say hi. <laughs> okay, so this is a peperomia frost, and this is one of the first peperomias that I ever got. I got this at the same time as I got this one. It was on the same trip. This is a really, really beautiful silvery variety of peperomia. It is so cute. And actually, I almost gave this plant away. And I'm so glad that I didn't. It is honestly sad to think about my collection without this plant now because I love it so much. It is actually living in a cash po. So this is what it looks like. It is just in a five inch pot terracotta. Peperomias really like terracotta in my experience. That's really all I have to say about this one. It's very, very easy to care for. Again, I just feel around for the leaves to see if it needs water. If the leaves feel soft and bendy, then I will give it water. And I would actually like to experiment with propagating this one because it really is as simple as taking a leaf cutting. Okay, so this is my most recent peperomia propagation. And you can see these leaves were old leaves. This is a discolored like yellow leaf and then this leaf I don't even know how this happened but this is all that is left of the mother leaf it is broken in half just looking a mess yet we have babies coming off of both leaves which is very very exciting so if you have ugly leaves on your peperomias you can definitely experiment with them it's not just trash 
Something that I like to say about peperomias is one man's trash is another man's propagation. <laughs> so, oh, I know, I know, I'm sorry, it's early. I, so this one has been very, very successful. It actually happened super fast. This happened, I think, within a month, honestly. The new leaves are coming out. They look really cute. I'll bring it up here so that you can see it. A little bit better and I just have it in this like glazed like half glazed half terracotta pot I actually have some eggshells in the mix for this one to just add a little bit of extra calcium because this leaf was doing a lot of curling and I wanted to make sure that it had what it needed was that something that was like correct I have no idea but I've done it in the past and it worked really well so I don't know eggshells in the soil might help out. I've only ever done it with peperomias and it worked <laughs> This one will probably be removed from its parents leaves a little bit later I just want to see just a little bit more leaf growth up here and then I'll probably just cut these off I have considered trying to propagate again after I have cut it off of the babies I don't know if that would work out, but if you guys want to see like a full tutorial on how I propagate watermelon peperomia I would love to do that for you because I haven't seen a ton of resources out there and the resources that I have seen, I tried their method and it just didn't work out for me. So what I have done and what I have found success with is water propagation and I'm pretty much giving away the video if I did do another video. But again, let me know and I'll go in depth and like show you the whole process in a future video. But anyway, so these are two like old nasty leaves that actually just fell off of the plant and I found them just kind of laying there and I decided that I would try to propagate with them and see what happens. So these leaves have been in water for like two days and if a leaf does not take, it will get really soft and like curl up. Let me show you. I just pulled this one out actually. So the bottom stem does something like this. In the water and it looks pretty gross so try to remove that as soon as you can when you notice it and then the actual stem will just get kind of soft and gross and so this was the leaf and I, I really thought that this leaf of all of them would take but it just didn't and that's okay so yeah that's just a little crash course on propagating these guys I will definitely make a video if you guys are interested and show you the process of this. So with all of that being said, I think that is my whole Peperomia collection. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope that you are inspired to try and propagate your watermelon Peperomias. Again, let me know down below if you're interested in seeing a video about that. And if you're not already, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and check the links in the description box below to find more videos from friends about Peperomias. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. To get in the mood for this video, I decided that I would wear my watermelon peperomia earrings. <laughs> so these are made by a company on Instagram called App Leaves, and I'm just in love with these earrings. The detail on the back is so cute, and it just it just looks like a real leaf. And I'm so excited whenever I get to wear these. <laughs>